I'll start with a quick review for this book, Mine. Very interesting book overall. This is not your average book, different information, information that I personally was not exposed to before, but about a fascinating idea, unexplored idea for me at least, about ownership, what it is considered ownership, when it's considered ownership. There is more than that than, than meets the eye. Definitely like the law aspect of things. There is, I, I feel like there is less, at least popular books about law. And I think the author, there's two authors actually, uh, they did a good job overall. I'm going to give this book four stars. There is some parts of the book that are, are overly technical, I would say. But overall, it's interesting enough and novel enough to go through. So that's why it's a four out of five. Let's see the notes. Airlines are selling the same space for two people, place for the knees and for reclining. So they're basically overselling the space in the airplane because the same space is occupied by two people or one of them is the person's knees and the other one is for reclining. They cannot, you cannot do both. And that creates some issues, obviously, but it makes them money. Instead of enforcing streaming laws, streaming companies embraced passport sharing. At first, they tried to f to fight that password sharing. Eventually, they gave it up because they noticed that if they just embrace it and let it go, it makes people addicted to their platforms and eventually they would purchase uh, membership. First come, first serve is being abused by bots and by paying people to stand in line. So the first uh, first come, first serve is the is the first rule of ownership. It's a default one too. But it's being abused by bots when they purchase tickets in advance or by people paying other people to stand in line. So that don't, that's no longer fair. What's being first is not clear and changes depending on the context. What is being first? When? What is what is considered being first? Especially when we consider that you pay other people to be there. So it's, it really depends. And there, there's also different situations in which being first, being first to what? Being first to kill, being first to capture. Uh, when when you hunt, for example, there, there is a lot into it. For example, here, one case has been decided that first to capture wins, which created a bigger incentive to do it fast. That's the, what, what was first. There's a, there was a case of capturing, uh, hunting some animal. I can I forgot what, what which was it. But one of them ran after the animal and one of them killed it. Who was who was the first? Eventually, the court decided in favor of those who captured, which also created an incentive to people for good and bad to do it faster and not run after, to kill as fast as you can, even when you waste time or whatever, or energy. Being first is the first default rule for ownership. So that's the main, that's what we often use when there is no, in less complicated situations. First time uses a limited resource to equalize opportunity, in theory at least. It, it uses time to equalize opportunity because we all, whoever comes there first would be the first. The problem is that people can pay other people and things like that. Companies utilize the endowment effect to sell product. They let you feel the product. The endowment effect is when you feel that it's yours, you, you're more likely to buy it or not willing to sell it, you're more likely to overvalue it. So company utilize it, they give you to sit in the car, test the car, feel the product before, and that's when you're more likely to buy it. Or In Colorado, if you possessed the area for 18 years, even if, if legally, it could be yours. So that's a possession rule. 
animal use voices, sounds, and other methods to show possession. So they have their own ways to show possession by different ways. Boarding at Southwest created some questions about saving spots. Southwest earned money in many ways. So people saved spots for other people from different groups, different boarding groups, which created a problem there of how much can you do and who can do and if you can do it all in the first place can you save up a spot because it created some serious issues to them but either way they make money because they people are willing to pay more money to board sooner and they make money for the fact that boarding is quicker that way generally speaking to prevent share hogging resorts often resort resort to timekeeping to limit the problem People are hugging beach chairs. They go there first thing in the morning, they put a magazine or towels on it, and that's why they hugging it for later use. What they do, some resorts at least do, they timekeep. They check how long people were not be were not there and they they evacuate or take take the things out. You reap what you saw. I'm not sure it's written right but anyway is another fundamental owning rule so you reap what you saw whatever you work for it's yours and that's another, that's another rule of ownership copyrights limit exposure of important pieces while protecting creators so copyrights it, it, it's a mixed bag in one way it limits exposure of important pieces because there is not enough there is rules against it so there is not enough exposure. People can see it, can listen to it, etc. On the other hand, it also protects creators because if not, you people would, would create less things. Patent protection could protect creators, but too much of it can hinder innovation as those are required for further innovation. So that's patent protection. There is patent protection. The problem is it's again, it's a mixed bag. Because too much of it can hinder innovation. The way it hinders hinder innovation is by preventing other people from progressing. Because often, especially in medicine, you have to have or you have to use a certain pattern to go forward. And that could be expensive or too complicated. The reason patent laws are there in the first place is to incentivize companies to innovate so again it's a mixed bag embracing fakes is a great marketing tool that's why disney d did they had fake products fake disney products at first they try to fight it eventually they embraced it which was a great marketing tool because it helps them overall my home my castle has limitations where an airplane can fly overhead. Drones are not as clear cut. So that's another rule of ownership is my house, my castle, I can do whatever I want in my, it's my area, it's my possession. But it has limitation. Vertically at least, airplanes can fly overhead, which was not clear at first. Drones are an interesting case at what height and there is different, he brings some different examples, the author brings different examples of both quartered sides in both ways. In most states, possession and attachment keep what's in the ground to their owner. So if they find oil or water, whatever is in the ground, it's whoever is on the, it's above ground, it's theirs. Well water possesses issues or issue for the possession law since neighbors could pump water and dry their neighbors what happens with well water it's on the ground but it's everyone are in the same basically same well or same watery reservoir and that poses an issue because if it's the, yours how much is yours or is it yours because other people can dry it or dry it overdraw so that creates a problem Laws are often not reflecting reality while setting slippery slope for changing the rules. Many times laws are 
back in it, like they are outdated in a way. And whoever want to appeal those, those who object to that appealing, say, if you repeal this law, you have to repeal other laws. So they citing slippery slope for not, for as a reason to not changing the law. When oil was first found, most states had a law stating first to capture is the first owner, which created a situation with too many people drilling and pressure went down, hurting everyone. But he did a first, if you found oil, it's yours. The area is yours. The oil is yours. What happened? Too many people start drilling on the same spot because it's the same underground reservoir again. But as a consequence, everyone lose, lost. Everyone came up on the negative because the pressure went down. Eventually, I think they came up with some kinds of solutions, but it's interesting to see what happens when you allow it. How far the ownership goes around shorelines has geopolitical ramifications, with China in the center of it with fake islands. Like China has known they're doing fake islands because they're using the ownership rule to say that everything around it is ours. There is international law, how much, how far it stretches, but that's what China is doing. And it's an, it has an interesting, it's an interesting question, how far it goes. HOAs can essentially create whatever rules they want while it's supposed to be all. Neighbors must follow those. They can create whatever they want. They can say no pets with pets. They can basically choose their own laws and everyone must follow it. Solar now takes over shade only if the tree wasn't there first. Courts now side with solar over trees. If there is a tree blocking the solar, you would have to chop it down unless the tree was there first. A variety of body services has widely different rules among states and, count and countries. Body services such as uh, giving uh, babies or blood plasma, kidneys and other things like that. It has different rules, it, widely different, widely differ between even states and obviously countries. According to the authors, selling a kidney should not be a yes or no. It should depend on the situations while enforcing essential laws to protect the vulnerable. So they think it should not be a yes or no, you either can or cannot do it. It should depend on the situation. But I, they do state the fact that you have to protect the vulnerable because they could often be exploited. The author encourages the use of a dimmer rather than a binary option. So similar to what happens here in the, in, with a kidney. He said a binary option is not good. You have to use a dimmer. It has to be more continuous. You know, it's, an, it's not a yes or no situation. Allowing royalties and percentages when using our bodies for medical use can solve the problem of advancing science all the while rightfully compensating patients. What happens sometimes patients, even though their blood or whatever their body is used for or to create a lot of money, they're not being right, uh, correctly compensated for it. So allowing royalties and percentages is the right way to go compensating those patients. Leasing companies often include illegal rules that cannot be enforced, relying on the fact that people don't know it and would be afraid of being sued. They just add all kinds of laws that they cannot enforce in the first place. They know people would be afraid of being sued and maybe they, don't, they won't notice it in the first place. The judicial system often resorts to selling properties in order to make it easy to split the profits between individuals. They resort to that even though when there is a great loss of it, because sometimes there is not a lot of fires, the price go down, and it's not always a good case. It's not always a good um, situations for all parties. Trusts are being used to avoid estate tax, while the laws are widely different among states. There is a, there is trust. It's basically a loophole 
to avoid estate tax. Different states have different rules where some of those states who are more lenient draw a lot of money. In some states, spouses need to repay money invested by their spouse. So if one spouse didn't work and actually paid for the other's education, for example, they would want to repay it. In most states, if you invested in the spouse's future, you wouldn't get nothing back. Even if you did, you got divorced, you would not get your money back. Allowances is an efficient way to dictate markets and solve problems. It's being used in climate change with climate credits, and that's allowances that give you how much you can use, when you can use. They use it in climate change. You have climate credit. You can buy it, you can sell it, and etc. Next one. One company created an harmful com uh, molecule gas just in order to destroy it and get climate credit. So they basically conned the system. That company created a harmful molecule and then didn't use it or destroyed it. That's how they basically got climate credit. And then they sold it. So they, make, they made a lot of money. I think that company was in India. But that was a loophole. A very interesting uh, and innovative, I think, idea. Not a good one, but innovative nonetheless. Next one. It starts with I was first, to I possess it, to I labored it. That's the main rules of ownership. I was there, I was here first. I possess it. It's mine. I'm here. To I labored it. I reap what you saw. I worked for it. It's mine. Next one. Owning a digital copy is very limited and highly dependent on the company policy. So if we buy a book online, if we buy software, it often depends on the company policy and it's often not ours. And there is if you go deep into the terms of service, there's a lot of lines that they're showing that it's not ours and the company can take it away in some circumstances. So it's not ours, as we think, like we bought a phone, we bought a computer, it's ours, we possess it. Not the same, same does not apply to digital copies. Anyway, that's the, that's it for the notes. Again, there's some interesting parts here, especially if you're interested in ownership and law, if you're generally interested in law. That would be a four out of five. Thank you.